welcome back children the next is solution of system of linear equations in two variables that is in the last class we have studied how to draw the system uh, a single linear inequality here we have a system of inequalities system of means more than one inequalities are there that is known as system of linear inequalities and we have to draw in the same x y plane so solve the following system of inequalities graphically 3x plus 2y less than or equal to 12 x greater than or equal to 1 and y greater than or equal to 2 so before drawing first we take the inequality 3x plus 2y here it is given less than or equal to so when we draw the graph when we draw the line you have to put equal symbol instead of less than or equal and then find the points x y minimum two points better you give x 0 y 0 so when x 0 when x is 0 2 y is 12 so what is the y value y is 6 Now give y equal to zero. When y is zero, 3x is 12. So 3x is 12 means x is 4. Using these two points, we can draw the graph of 3x plus 2y less than or equal to 12. Then the second inequality is x is greater than or equal to 1. X is equal to 1. It's a straight line. It's a line parallel to y-axis. And y greater than or equal to 2. So we have to draw y equal to 2. That is also a straight line which is parallel to x-axis. So we can draw that. Okay. So take the graph. Axis is the origin. Y axis. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have up to six only. Then one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then which are the equations? 3x plus 1 is 3x plus 2y less than or equal to 12. So when x zero, y is six, y zero, x is four. Then the second inequality is x is greater than or equal to one. Then third is y is greater than or equal to two. so we can draw the first one 0 6 and 4 0 0 6 4 so draw the line and it is darkened line not dotted line or broken line since it is equal symbol so draw the line So this is the line 3x plus 2y is equal to 12. Then where we shade? The rule is substitute a point which not lies on the line. So better we can take the point origin. Origin is not on the line. Substitute in that inequality. So 3 into 0 plus 2 into 0. Is it less than or equal to 12? 0 less than or equal to 12. It is correct. So you have to shade. This region, okay, not upper half plane, lower half plane. So, before shading, just you uh, draw like arrows. The last we can shade the common region. Okay. Now the second inequality is x is greater than or equal to one. 
So x is greater than or equal to 1. This is x is equal to 1. So draw a line, straight line. So this is x is equal to 1. And x is greater than or equal to 1. So it, is it the right half plane or left half plane? x is greater than or equal to 1 means right hand side. So just you put arrow like this. Okay. Now the third is y greater than or equal to 2. So we have to draw y equal to 2. So a line through y equal to 2. A straight line. That is also darkened line. So this line is y is equal to 2. Then where we shade that is greater than or equal. Y value greater than 2 is upper half plane. So it is above this line. So where is the common region? The common region only you have to shade properly. So for this first line it is lower half plane and this line it is the right side and for y equal to 2 it is the upper portion. So all these in this triangular region. So we have to shade that region. Okay. So this region you have to shade. Okay, so that is the solution region. All the points in that region and on the line also will satisfy the inequality or will give the solution. Clear? Now we can do the next one. Second question. X plus Y is greater than or equal to 4 and 2X minus Y greater than or equal to 0. So the first one x plus y we have to put equal symbol then x y when x is 4 sorry when x is 0 y is 4 when y is 0 x is 4. Now the second line 2x minus y is 0 x y when x is 0 what is the y value? y is also 0. So again we can't give y is 0. Hmm? Give any other number. Here we have 4. So you can give 4 or 2. When x is 2. When x is 2 what is y? y is 4. Okay. Minimum 2 is enough. Now we can draw the graph. the new line there are also positive values no negative value in that so the first quadrant is enough x x dash origin y dash y ok the first equation x plus y greater than or equal to 4 x 0 y 4 0 4 ok the next is 2x minus y greater than or equal to 0 so when x and x 0 y also 0 x 2 y 4 so we can draw 0, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So the first one is 0, 4 and 4, 0. So I will draw the line. This is the line. It is the darkened line. Why it is darkened line? Since there is equal symbol. Now the next line. 0, 0. That is the origin. And the other one is 2, 4. Where is 2, 4? 
2x axis 4y axis so this is the point okay now draw the line so a line through this okay Okay, it's slight difference is there. Okay, next. Now, where we see the first line is x plus y greater than or equal to 4. So, this is the line. Substitute the origin. 0 plus 0 greater than or equal to 4. Is it correct? That is wrong. That is wrong means 0 is in the lower half plane of the first line. Since this statement is wrong, you have to draw the opposite side. That is upper half plane. Hmm? So upper half plane, just you draw arrows. Now the second line, 2x minus y greater than or equal to 0. This line passing through the origin. Hmm? This is the line, 2x minus y is equal to 0. So we can't substitute origin. Take any other point from this side or the upper side. We can take any point other than the points on this line. Hmm? So, I can take 4, 0. 4, 0 is in the lower half plane of this line. So, we can take the point. I am taking the point 4, 0. Substitute in this equation. So, 2 into 4 minus 0 greater than or equal to 0. That is 8 greater than or equal to 0. Is it correct? That is correct. Where is 4, 0 in the lower half plane? So, you have to shade towards this lower half plane. So, where is the common region? This both arrows in which region? Here. For the first line, upper half plane. And for this line, it is lower half plane. So, this region. But it is not closed. In the last one, it is closed. We can see that it is bounded. Here we can say that unbounded. So, you have to shade. Okay. The shading is here. It is not closed region. It is open region. You can extend the line. Okay. It is here also. For this line, this side. And this line, this side. So, it is this quadrant also. Okay. Since my line is up to here, that is why I draw here. Okay, you can extend this. So, this is the region and it is open region. That means it is unbounded. Okay. Now, we can do the third one. So, before that. Okay, third question x plus 2y less than or equal to 10, x plus y greater than or equal to 1, x minus y less than or equal to 0, x greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0. So, there are 5 inequalities. In this 5 inequalities, this x is equal to 0 means which axis? y axis. y, y equal to 0 means x axis. And x and y greater than or equal to 0 means that is in the first quadrant. So, these two conditions indicates the solutions in the first quadrant. Okay. If x less than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0 means second quadrant. In that way you can take. So, this means no need to draw these two inequalities. It is already there. x greater than or equal to 0 that is y axis. And y greater than or equal to 0 that is x axis and it is the solution in the first quadrant. So, you have to draw the graph of only these three inequalities. Okay. So, taking the graph, you have to rub this. Okay. The first equation is x plus 2y less than or equal to 10. Okay. So, find the points. When x is 0, y is 5. When y is 0, x is 10. Now, the second line, 
x plus y greater than or equal to 1. So x y when x is 0, when x is 0 y is 1, when y is 0 x is 1. Now the third one is x minus y less than or equal to 0. So x y. So when you write the points, don't take this less than or equal, uh, less than or greater than symbol, just take equal symbol. Okay, otherwise you will get infinitely many solutions. Here yeah, you have to put equal symbol and find the point. That is x minus y is equal to 0. Here x plus y is equal to 1. Here x plus 2y is equal to 10. For drawing only I put this inequality symbol. Okay. So x minus y equal to 0. When x is 0, y is also 0. Then you can take any other point, you can take 5 or 1, if x is 5, y is also 5. Okay, now we can draw the line. Ten. Ten Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So first one is 0, 5 and 10, 0. 0, 5 and 10, 0. Broken line or dotted line? No, it is darkened line. So draw the line. That's enough. Hmm? Then where we shade? It is less than or equal to. When we substitute origin, 0 plus 2 into 0. Is it less than or equal to 10? It is correct. So towards the origin, you have to shade. Equal to 10. Towards the origin. Hmm? Now the next line is 0, 1 and 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0. So draw the line 0 1 and 1 0 a small line when you draw you have to be very careful through this point since I am taking this only so there is a problem so the line is x plus y x plus y is equal to 1 then where we shade when we substitute origin, 0 plus 0 greater than or equal to 1. Is it correct? That is wrong. So towards origin we can't shade. It is just opposite direction. So towards. Now the last one is x minus y is less than or equal to 0. It passes through origin and 5, 5. That is 5, 5. Okay, take the line. Draw the line through this point. This is the line x minus y is equal to 0. Then shading. We can't take origin since the line passes through the origin. So you can take any other point. You can take 10, 0 or 0, 5. So if I take 0, 5, in the last case I took the point from the x axis, so here I am taking from y axis, so I am taking the point 0, 5, substitute 0 minus 5 less than or equal to 0, is it correct? So see that statement is correct, okay, 
So, 0, 5 is this region, isn't it? So, you have to shade here. So, where is the common region for this line here, for the first line towards the origin and this smaller line opposite, not towards the origin. So, this region, this closed region, okay. And also the last condition. What is the last condition? Last two conditions. X greater than or equal to 0. Y greater than or equal to 0. If this condition is not there, you can shade here. That is, this is the y axis. You can shade here also. But the last two conditions means the solution in the first quadrant only. So, this is the border line. Okay. There only you have to shade. So, look this portion that is the solution region and everything uh, darkened line okay if it is less than or greater you have to draw broken line or dotted line now we can do the next one x minus 2y less than or equal to 3, 3x plus 4y greater than or equal to 12, x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 1. Okay. So, x greater than or equal to 0 means y axis, greater means right hand side. Okay. And y greater than or equal to 1, y equal to 1 is a line parallel to x axis. So, we can take the graph. So, before that we need points. So, write the equation. What is the equation? x minus 2y. So, the equation is x minus 2y is less than or equal to 3. Correct? So, when x, when x is 0, x is 0 means minus 2y is 3. Okay? Equal only. Again, I will write x minus 2y is less than or equal to 3. For drawing the graph, you have to take x minus 2y is equal to 3. Then x y, when x is 0, minus 2y is 3. So, y is equal to minus 3 by 2. And when y is 0, x is 3. Okay. Now, the next line. The next line is 3x plus 4y. This is the first line. Second line, 3x plus 4y greater than or equal to 12. So, x, y. When x is 0, y is 3. y is 0, x is 4. Okay. Now, third one. Third one is x greater than or equal to 0. That is no need to draw. It is y axis. Then y greater than or equal to 1. It is a straight line. So, now we can draw. Negative is there, no? So, we have to rub this. Negative point is negative. Three zero. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, four, five. Here it is minus one. One, two, three, four, five, six. X axis. It's y axis. One, two, three, four, five. And this is, this one is origin. Okay, 
So the first line is 3 0, 3 0 on x axis and 0 minus 3 by 2, minus 3 by 2 means minus 1.5. So minus 1.5 is here. Hmm? Then draw the line through 3 0 and this minus 1.5. This is the line, darkened line. Now where we shade? We can substitute origin. 0 minus 2 into 0 less than or equal to 3. Is it correct? 0 less than or equal to 3. Correct. So towards the origin. Towards the origin you have to shade. Now the next line is 0, 3. 0, 3 is on y axis and 4, 0. Then draw the line 3 0 and sorry 0 3 and 4 0. Equation you have to write 3 and this equation is 3x plus 4y is equal to 12. Then where we shade? When we substitute origin, 3 into 0 plus 4 into 0 is greater than or equal to 12. 0 greater than or equal to 12 is wrong. So towards origin we can't shade, you have to shade opposite direction. Okay. So I am extending the first line since the common region. So, okay. And for this line, this is the region. Now one more line, ah oh, no, x is equal to 0 means y axis, greater means right hand side and y equal to 1. So we have to draw y equal to 1, y equal to 1 is a line passing through and it is parallel to this axis. And greater than, y value is greater than 1 means upper region, okay. So upper region means. Okay, so where is the common region? For this line, upper portion and here it is upper portion and one more line is there. Where is that line? Ah, this line, this portion. So the common, can you identify the common? Common region means it is open region. Okay, so this is the bridge. So boundary line, look the boundary line from here. Okay, like this. That is the bridge. It is also unbounded. Now take the next one. One more question we have to do. That is 2x minus y greater than 1, x minus 2y is less than minus 1. Here greater less, so you have to draw broken line or dotted line. So the equation, which are the equations? 2x minus y is greater than 1. So when we draw, we have to take 2x minus y is equal to 1 xy when x is 0 y is minus 1 when y is 0 x is 1 by 2. Now one more line that is x minus 2y is less than minus 1. So xy when x is 0 before that it equals in that. So x minus 2y is equal to minus 1 xy when x is 0 y is equal to 1 by 2 when y is 0 x is minus 5. Now we can draw the lines. Minus is there. Yeah, 
डैश और जे वाई डैश आई एम टेकिंग हाफ वन वन पॉइंट फाइव लाइक दैट ओके हाफ वन वन पॉइंट फाइव टू हाफ वन सो माइनस वन दिस इज हाफ सो दिस वन इज माइनस वन बाई टू so the first line 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 is here this point is minus 1 0 minus 1 and half 0 half 0 is here so draw the line and what type of line it is not darkened line it is broken line so through minus 1 and 1 by 2 okay it's very difficult to draw Draw from here. So this line, children, that is the line. The other one is not there. Okay. So we cut. This line is not there. Hmm? So the equation, which is the equation, two x minus y. Is equal to one. Then where we shade upper or lower portion, substitute the origin. Two into zero minus zero is greater than one. That is zero is greater than one. Is it correct? That is wrong. So towards origin we can we can't shade. It is opposite direction. Okay. Now the next is zero one by two. Zero one by two is this point and minus one zero. Again it's a broken line. Or dotted line. So the equation x minus two y is less than minus one. So I am extending this children. so for this line it is like this okay and what about the second line second line substitute origin origin is not on the line so we can substitute 0 minus 2 into 0 is it less than minus 1 so 0 less than minus 1 is it correct that is wrong so towards origin we can't shade we have to do the opposite direction so here So can you identify where is the common region for this line towards this direction and for this line? So this portion, okay? That is also an open region. This you can extend both the lines, okay? And not open region. Uh, open one side is open, okay? This line we can we can extend here. We can extend. so it is open and bounded region with it so i hope all of you understood this okay